Hey y'all, what's going on? Today we got some chocolate. Yes, some milk chocolate chips and some caramel bits. Yes, yeah, some people say caramel, but I say caramel because that's the way I grew up. What are we gonna make? Oh, we got some pecans. Some people say pecans, pecans, but I say pecans. What do we have? A double boiler. Oh, caramel again. Now, we're gonna be making pecan turtles. It's a staple in the South where I grew up. My family from Louisiana, my family in Texas, we grew up eating these. Now, I use heavy whipping cream in mine. I let the caramel melt a touch because that caramel will burn and it will stick now so you have to watch it then i add the heavy whipping cream in it and i go to town i whisk it up and this is how it turns out that's all you need now you take your time when you're doing this you're doing the double boiler but that does not mean it has to be on super high heat take your time now you see i have aluminum foil instead of parchment paper so i spray it down i also spray my hands too because if you spray that pam or that cooking spray on your hands that caramel doesn't stick to your hands like you think it will so go ahead and spray that cooking spray on your hands and watch it go ahead and just drop it'll drop much smoother now it's still sticky and it's still a mess so you have to reapply the spray on your hands every once in a while wash your hands reapply the spray and it works out phenomenal. You get more of the caramel where it needs to be than the caramel just being a mess and you keep wiping back and forth and back and forth. So that's why I keep reapplying the spray on my hands and washing my hands during this process. You see, it's a simple process once you get it going. It's a lovely process. You can do this for any time of the year, but around the holiday times as a kid, I know this was a staple in my house and we would fight over it as children. You should, you should, I'm not saying that the kids need to fight. Literally, we didn't fight like that, but we would, you know, try to get there first. You know, me, I'm a chef by trade, and you saw who got the most. Well, you can just imagine who got the most, which is me, okay? So now we're doing the double boiler method again. Now we're doing the milk chocolate chips now. So we're gonna go ahead and drop that chocolate in there. We're gonna drop a little bit of butter in there. Now, in the meantime, if you have other things to take care of, this video is sped up, so the water is not boiling like you think so i had time to go to another area of my house take care of my son like i say i have a fully disabled son i had a chance to go check in on him make sure he was good watching his nascar like he loves to watch talk to him for a bit go check the clothes in the laundry room go talk to my wife because she had to take care of some things at work so bam now we're coming back to the kitchen you see this this is what the double boiler method can allow you to it can allow you the time you need to take care of other tasks around the house. Now, this was real time. It was sped up, but it was real time. And you see the chocolate didn't burn, okay? Now, you want to incorporate that butter in there because that butter adds shine. Butter adds sheen. You love that sheen. You need the sheen in whatever it is that you're cooking, whether it's in culinary uh, 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 confections or whether it is in your culinary uh, entrees you still need that butter from sauces to meats on your proteins to whether it's vegan diets that butter gives you the sheen use vegan butter so now all we're doing is we got that chocolate melted upright you see that sheen it's not the lighting it's the butter and we're just laying it on top now i didn't want to load these down with the chocolate because i'm using the rest of the chocolate for something else all right so it's going to be something similar to this but it's not going to be this right here but it's a simple recipe you all Pecan turtle clusters. You know, I would love these as a kid. Now, I know you all might love them too. Now, you have to let them chill, okay? Now, your family, they might crowd you, but you have to tell them back, 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 back. These need 50 feet, okay? Stay away from them. They're in the refrigerator, and you might have to guard the refrigerator. But it's okay. Guard it. Let them savor the moment. Let them have these memories. It's the same memories I had as a child. And I thank my grandma, my mom, and I thank them all for these pecan turtle clusters right here. Now, a couple of hours in the refrigerator, and they'll do. And they will come out looking like this. Now, I'll see y'all next time. Like I said, I'm going to try to get more videos in for you all.